you don't think I know what I look like? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do I mean? What are you? You mean? know what I look? I know what do you I look, look like. I know what I look like. What? I look like fucking like bloating corn. Bloated corn. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Do you ever see like baked Mexican corn? Yeah, I love Mexican corn. Don't you love it? Yeah. Where they put the little stuff on it, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes they cook it way too much. And yeah. Yeah. And one of the kernels is, yeah, that's exactly what I look like. That's me. With that looks yummy. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> I know, I'm delicious. Cotilla I cheese. get it, but I look. You know what a gourd, you know, like a gourd? Yeah. You kind of have gourd. What? A little bit of gourd. I have a gourd. G -O yeah, there it is. Go down. G-O-U-R-D. That's kind of gourdy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a gourd. See, that's you and that's me. That's me. That's you and me combined. Combined. That's our baby, dude. That's our baby. Our gourd baby. My We'd point is, is I know what I look like, and I, and people rip me to parts. They rip me to shreds. You don't think I go to New York, and the first thing out of comic's mouth is just rip, rip, rip? Yeah. Right? That's and it's like, do. I deserve it. I yeah. know I look like this. Ha, 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 ha. But when it's not comics, people don't know. Yeah, maybe. That's the thing. But I trust me, I get it. Like, yeah. as mean as we are to George, he deserves it, but he gets it. But he's had to learn. He's had to learn. In there the, was moments. Yeah, in the beginning, no. You've had to learn. No, I, you were sensitive before. When? When I first met you at Baker. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, I did. You were sensitive. Whoa, ah. George. <laughs> How was I sensitive? Let's get this out of the air. All I right. like this. I like this. George, you better buck up. Yeah, yeah. How was I sensitive? I looked at my clock, my watch once uh, when you walked in, and you uh, you flipped out. You were like, "I can show up 15 minutes late. It's my shoot." Hey, Bob, this guy's built for podcasts. <laughs> I can see why you work with him. <laughs> He's not sensitive. That's not me being sensitive, dude. I'm like, I could do what I want. That's right. You're being a bitch, and you're like, oh, 15 minutes late. First no, of all, Maker Studios way the fuck out of nowhere. Remember, it was in the middle of No Century City. Oh, yeah, Culver City. I drive there every day. You better, just because you're in a suit doesn't mean you catch a tone with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking attorney. Did you wear a suit for the show to look uh, No, he always, he's been wearing that every You've day. You've been wearing suits now. Oh, yeah. You're a suit guy. Yep. It is funny to watch someone make the transition from regular guy to suit guy. Yeah. That's a big thing. That is like a, in the comedy world too, when comics just become suit comics, that's a, it's a thing you want. I remember Steve Byrne did it. Steve Byrne became a suit guy. <laughs> Ryan Co Stout. Scoff right in his face. Remember Ryan Stout? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> suit guy. Rick yeah. Ingram. Ingram, Rick. There's nothing no, only, wrong. No, only when he opens up a Chris Rock. Yeah. And Chris makes him do it. But there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying you see it happen. It's interesting to watch your friends become suit guys. Yeah. There's no, I don't, you look good. I'm not bothered by it, but you're a suit guy now. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only issue I have with a suit is that the footwear should be kind of a popping highlight, and those shoes are fucking ridiculous. Take one off and put it up to the camera so they see no, what you're no, wearing. No, that, Come on. No. Come on, baby no, boy. No, no. Show it off. Show those pretty little feet. Also, the what kind of suits you wear is like more Liberace. Well, he's a little bit Liberace, isn't he? It's a little too like I like it when it's more basic. No, you got you got to dress forty nine percent gay because the gays uh, have fashion. Forty nine percent gay, without being false advertising. Interesting. Interesting. I never read that before. What Heard percent do, gay do we dress? Bobby's uh, up fifty one. No, look at that. That's a ten percent gay. Fancy, you're oh gonna get goodness. fucking <laughs> get your ass beat, buddy. Oh my goodness. What did you say, man? What did you say, bud? You look good. You look good. Is what I meant. Run in his mouth. <laughs> You're ten thousand percent gay, dude. <laughs> I like that. I heard. I heard to the grapevine. Did you see Killers of the Flower Moon? No, is it good? I haven't seen it yet, but I just heard to the grapevine that Scorsese got mad because he caught wind that they were doing intermissions at certain places. Because you know it's a three-hour movie. Yeah, three and a half. Three twenty. Yeah. Apparently, people were doing. Uh, people were doing like their own intermission. Intermission. Yeah, and he heard about it to the grapevine and was fucking livid about it. But it is a long ass movie. That's a long movie. Yeah, yeah but I'd be mad because when do they do the intermission? He Look, should be able to choose when. Look at that intermission violations. Apple Paramount cracked down on a handful of theaters breaking the agreement. I gotta tell you though. Yeah. I need to piss. Yeah. Th three and a half hours. Can I piss? Let you, me piss. You can't drink anything or. or yeah, popcorn. you can't drink or eat. You're gonna, you're gonna piss. You, and by the way, unless you piss the moment you've got to the theater, three and a half hours, you probably need to leave because you've been eating, and drinking mm -hmm. while you've been there. So you think it's a violation? You think you got to sit through it? No, I think that you know they should call Scorsese and have him go. When do you think the right part? He says no. No, they made an agreement. He made them sign a contract saying you will not make an intermission. And theaters were like, "Fuck off." They did it anyway. Okay. 
I mean, Scorsese wouldn't let you take a break. No chance. When's the last time I did a movie where there was intermission, though? I don't remember. Ben Hur? Ben Hur? Yeah. That was fucking what? <laughs> yeah, Ben Hur. I think Gandhi had one. Yeah, there's another movie I saw. I think it was Once Upon a Time in America. Or one of those kind of. I haven't yeah. done a break in a film and I can't remember. The Hateful Eight, I think, had one. Did it? I think so. Not sure. I don't remember going. I don't remember taking a break. I don't think it did. Mm. But I feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like I kind of get it. The theater's like, people like it. Mm. People want a break. Only the 70 millimeter did. 70 millimeter roadshow had a break and the Hateful Eight. Because mm. it was longer. But see, like her generation, like, how, like would you sit through a three and a half hour movie? Yeah, I can do in it. In the theater? Mm -hmm. Do your friends like that kind of stuff? What's, what's the last movie you saw at three and a half hours? Avengers. <laughs> That's not three and a half. Is it three and a half yeah. hours? Yeah. Holy long, yeah, was it? Long, yeah. And they didn't have an intermission? They didn't have one, no. And the action movies aren't going to have intermission. But you can go any, t you go, like you're not going to be able you're to not gonna miss, miss anything. anything. No, you could just leave. Yeah. Oh, Hulk is still fucking shit up. Oh, cool. Yeah. Paul Rudd's in this? That's what you say when you come back from the bathroom. <laughs> Ant-Man might be one of the weirdest franchises I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. I mean, like, no diss, but also, what is that? That's such a strange... <clears throat> it's such a strange thing. Yeah, no, no intermission. Like, Ant-Man's one of those movies where I was like, oh, I can get in that. I'm surprised you didn't <laughs> get Ant-Man. You are Ant-Man for sure. That's, that is you 100%. Ken Jong got a little, little part in the Avengers and the Ant-Man part. Did he really? Yeah. At the very beginning. You think we'll ever be in Marvel? Ever? You could be just, in... Just, just, just. Mm. What, man? <laughs> There's. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. He's playing... Yes. That's you. I know. He's playing Bobby Lee. Yeah. They literally were like, Bobby Lee. Yeah. That's offensive. Yeah. You ever it's okay. You ever talk to Ken? Yeah. You still do? Yeah. Do you ever say stuff like, that should have been me? Because it sounds weird. Yeah, it does. Hey, man, how's the family? That should have been me. <laughs> and then Avenger, what, man? No, I just saw it. Nothing, just should have been me. Should have been me. It was literally me. It looked yeah. like me. In, you know, it, it's so funny. These kind of movies, I'm not even, you know I mean? I don't even know how people get them. Well, I don't people, know. Because people go, well, I know other actors like, yeah, you know, I track movies. And then when they start casting, I get in the process. I, I tr So I tried that with... Uh, um the um the Chinese well uh Shang Chi? No, the um the rich Hidden Dragon. The Crazy, rich, Crazy rich Asians. Asians. Mm. So I, I followed that along. Yeah. In the trades. Mm. And I go, okay, there this is the casting, right? And I'm like and I called my agent, I go, just tell them I'm interested. But they mostly Chinese, yeah. I know, and they're like, they're not interested, dude. Because you're Korean. With, well, that's what they said, but then they put Ken in it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's Chinese passing though. And then Shang Chi, I did it, and they were like, "Really good, but we're not. You're not going to ever get that." No. They gave it to um, Ronnie. Ronnie Chang's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So you try, you read for it, right? Yeah. And you, you know, you, and you put in the tape, and they're just like, "No." And then you're like, "Okay, I try." Yeah, but that's going to happen. Yeah. Have you gotten one of those? Well, they're not making a lot of howdy doody movies. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck am I? What am I? Gonna I don't want to talk about show business and my my frailty. I, I we. We do that all the time. It's just like it's I. You know, we're blessed. I'm blessed with what I have. That's right. I got stuff too, man. Who gives a fuck, man? You do. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? And dude, it's not even for me, dude. You know, I'll tell you something, pal. You know what I realized when I've been on the streets, pal? Mm -hmm. Right. We're like snake oil salesmen. You and I. Yeah. Yeah. This show, we're selling snake. No, what I'm saying is, we go door to door and we go, hey. You know, we're not like, you know, we're not in the part of this big machine. They won't let us in the big box store. Right. So we go door to door and we sell it that way. And you know what, dude? It's the and And it's so funny because these other ones that are they get the green light from, you know, the uh, Hollywood. Talk about They're trying to do what we're doing. Two bears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's like not two bears, but you, you, you know, understand. Yeah. And it's like, um, no, we're doing it the way old school. That's just old school. It's the, I think the right way to do it. Well, it's the most authentic way to do it. Like this is me, by me, and there and people and a lot of people hate me, but, but a lot of people are like, I love that. People don't hate you. I know. People hate those they, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys. I mean, yeah. This guy probably the most. Yeah. I will give you some props for shaving your head. I do think that's an incredible move on yeah. your part. I mean, balls. 
And now, or what are you going to do now? What's the rest of the haircut going to be? I'm going to wait for it to, I'm just going to kind of be weird for like a few months. I get to be like Carlos, like kind of undercover. Because being, Carlos being bald, he's like an undercover person with hair. Whenever mm -hmm. he puts his hat on, no one knows. But you got to shave it. All of it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it like keep it like this for a while. No, no, no. And then I'm gonna I mullet it. No, you want it all? There. I think the mullet is rad. If he gets, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do the mullet once it grows out and levels. I'm gonna okay do the sides. And he still gets more girls than me. It's great. <laughs> Good job. You should. But uh, yeah, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, it's I've not. been watching you, dude. <laughs> and you know what? I accept it. <laughs> You're the young gun in the factory, and I um, I, I, my hat's off to you, dude. New blood.